In this video, I'm going to show you how to animate a line and get it to stay on in Apple Motion 5. The first thing you do is look down just above the timeline here, and you'll see a couple of tools. The first one may be a line, it may be a rectangular circle, but we want to choose the line. Now, make sure your playhead is set to zero, and then all you do with the line tool is simply click and drag wherever you want your line to be, and now you'll have a line. Now in the left hand side, the inspector here, you can change the properties of your line, the blends, the opacity modes, just about everything else. But if you click onto the shape, that's where you can actually select the color, the thickness, and the endpoint of your line. Let's say we want a green line, so let me pull up green here, and now we have a green line. And then we also want an arrow at the end. So on the end cap here, simply choose arrow at the end. And now you can play with the arrow size. You can go with arrow length and arrow width. You can crank this thing way far out. And you can crank the width pretty far out. Not too bad. Now to animate this line, you have to add a behavior. In Apple Motion 5.4.6, if you go to, you select your line, go to behaviors, and then scroll down to shape, and then the magic is the action or activity called right on. And when you click right on, you may see your line completely disappear. But what happens is this right on tells the, tells motion to begin making the line draw out. So now if you click and drag your playhead, you can see your arrow continue, which is pretty slick. So now if I play my motion here, you can see my line animate, and it will come to the end in a moment, and that's it. The problem is, when I render this out, that line will animate to the end and then disappear. That's really annoying. So what we do in motion is the right on track here that is attached to the line. If you click the right on track, drag it back to let's say halfway. So you simply, you can see the mouse go from a standard pointer to this bracket with a left right arrow. You can click that and drag it to where you want your motion to end. Click and drag and you'll see the line shoot out, but then it freezes and stays on. So that is the trick how to keep your line visible or hold your line at the end of the animation. Also another trick, let's say I want my line to hold for 20 seconds because I don't want to have to replicate them in Final Cut, is this playhead here, the out point, you can click this and drag it way out as far as you need to the end or length of your project. And now you can change the right on time. So you can see your line animates out to, let's see, where do I have it? Seven minutes or seven seconds and 20 frames. And then for the rest of those 20 seconds, that line holds. Not too shabby. So that's how you animate a line with an arrowhead in Apple Motion 5 and you get it to hold or stay visible in the animation. Just that simple. So if you want to expand it out, click on the right on, hover your mouse over the end, and you'll see the mouse cursor change. And now we'll scroll out, and then the line holds and stays visible. My name is Aaron Linsdow. I'm a digital arts teacher and a polar explorer, incidentally. Please like and comment on the video, and if you found this useful, subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching, and enjoy your Apple Motion!